Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, stepping away from that very loud macerator. And welcome to another episode of Fixer Does Technic. But not in an intimate fashion, because let's just let's face it, I haven't gotten to know it that well. Alright. When we left off last time, I went to go ahead and collect all these chests and move all of my worldly belongings to the other location so that we can establish a new base and leave this cave living to the Neanderthals. Which, of course, no longer are with us. Speed on the chest, I'll pick up all the stuff, whatever it pops out. Real quick, check out the links below to check out my adventure server. And, ooh, don't think I can fit everything there. As well as the link to other Tiny Tube members, because they have different stuff than what I carry, and maybe if you're not entirely sure with what you've got here, Maybe you'll like it over there. Check it out. Even if you do like what you got here, they still have, you know, there are those that have very similar things. So just go and enjoy yourself. Now, what we're going to be doing here today is obviously moving shop. Really, the beds, I'm not really sure why I keep the bed because trying to use the Somnia mod, it doesn't, you know, it just accelerates everything and makes it a lot more difficult. And I'll just put that ladder there to make it so I don't have to hop every time and reduce my food usage. Ah, yes, the loud macerator. Okay, hold on. There, just turn down the volume a little bit just to get stuff done and over with here. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going on with industrial craft. I've gone ahead and set up the macerator and the electric generator because I prefer the electric generators to the all the other ones. Oh, the electric furnace, and I have a generator, and... I think that's all I've got here. I haven't set up a bat box yet. Definitely need to get one of those. Let's see, separating all this stuff out. Keep the food. Oh, everything turned off. What happened? I still have electricity. Do I have any more dust? No? I got one charcoal. Have some of those. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Make sure I get. Come on. Come on. Pop this one last one. There we go. And use that. So I can get myself some more. I uh, probably won't need any more glass for a while. Hello, Mr. Fox. But yeah, there's a few things I want to explore in this. As I said, I've already recorded all this, so it's going to be a while before I actually get to it. But one of the things I want to explore the use of is turtles. They seem like they're going to be a fun addition. Um, and contrary to the desires of another one of our users, I will be trying out those power flowers. Primarily because everything in equivalent of exchange seems to require millions of EMC and... The only real sustainable way of getting that many is to set up at least one power flower. So I'll probably end up doing that uh, and then probably moving away once I have established. I'm also, I set up a link down below that has every kind of item in this entire Technic pack, I think. If there's anything missing, I'm sure someone will tell me. But my intention is to go through that list and literally pick up and or make everything that's in that list. Oh, excuse me. So that way I can actually say that I have fully explored the entire Technic pack. Did I bring my... yeah, okay, I brought my orange pickaxe. Let's see. Let's go ahead and... I'm probably gonna go ahead and start mining down below just so I can start trying to find some diamonds, because I don't think I found a single diamond yet. Oh, found a little... This crystal, we'll leave it alone right now, because when you break them, they increase the taint in the region, and I don't want to have to worry about taint just yet. All right, I'll use all this iron. Go down far enough where I will be beneath the lava pools, and only have to worry about them dropping on my head. All right, let's go mining this way a little bit. See, the, there was the turtles, and I want to check out the pneumatic tubes. What's this over here? Oh, it's another crystal. Okay. Let's just go this way. 
we'll go around it. Let's see, I need to put some uh, cobblestone here so that if I do break through the lava, I can quickly place. Yep, alright, that's lava. See, just like that. Don't worry about it falling on your head. There we go. Right, let's keep on going. This looks like coal to my left, uh, right. Let's see. I can honestly say that not a whole heck of a lot has happened today. Um, oh, just to let you know what I'm doing here, I'm counting how many spaces, because I try to space out my torches 10 points when it's a simple little setup like this. And, oops, can't go that way. Yeah, just trying to make sure that it, uh, nothing can spawn in my tunnels. Alright, let's see. I don't see light, so that means there's no lava there. That's a good sign. Let's see, go ahead and pick this away. Alright, just keep on going until I either hit lava or until I get through all this gravel. Yeah, I can understand why some people are like, you know, equivalent exchange breaks everything, and it, it does open up a lot of stuff that normally would not be available. But at the same time, it also doesn't exactly... Let's see here. And nope, nothing up here. Good. Nothing up there. Okay. Well, we'll just keep going then. Uh, what it does is it, it essentially gives you access to an unlimited amount of diamonds. And given the rarity of diamonds, most of the mods are not designed to handle a large amount of diamonds. I mean, it takes a lot of effort to get a diamond. And equivalent exchange just makes it that much easier for it. It doesn't actually let you build a whole lot of stuff that you normally wouldn't be able to. It just makes it easier to build it and makes it easier to exchange. Uh, for those of you who do not know the little trick that I'm using here, if you put a, to a torch or some other semi-transparent block underneath falling sand or gravel, it will pop the moment it hits and you will be able to collect it and don't have to worry about breaking it. Let's see, go ahead and grab this. So I can understand why people would say that the uh, coolant exchange is broken, but at the same time, I know that I don't intend on making massive use out of it. I mean, yes, it's handy, yes, I will use it, but I'm not planning on using it excessively. I Once I have established a baseline for materials that I have available, I intend on really just moving base, because staying in one place is just not my style. Ooh, some uranium. Let's go ahead and grab that. There we go, and I'm out. Okay, so let's see. Let me count. Well, I guess I'll count after I'm dig dig a little ways here. Usually whenever it starts getting too dark, you know you've reached the point where you need to start counting back to 10. Oh, more gravel. Counting. One, two... I'm getting lag, but you know what, I think I'm just going to have to deal with it this time. Yep. As you can see, it's a real fast way of getting rid of gravel. It does make it a little bit harder when you're... Oops! That's not lava. Uh, it's a crystal of some kind. That looks... It looks tainted. Well, I hope not. Alright, let's grab some of this stuff. You just switch out for the iron tools to collect this. I think this is nickelite. I do like that all these uh, mods add more ores. Because really it makes it so you have to dig less to find something. Even if it's not something you need, at least you find something. You know, and you can effectively have something that you can do with it. So if Minecraft had more ores... I think that would be a massive improvement in the overall game, and have this less, you know, cobblestone or stone everywhere. You know, put more ores in the game, like these mods do. They do a great job. I approve. This is fixer approval. I hereby beat my desk into the stamp of approval. Although I don't actually have a desk yet. I've taken a old uh, table, and I'm using that as a desk right now since. In the old house, I had actually built the desk into the wall, so that, uh, let's see what's going on here, alright, we're going. I had built the desk into the wall, so it wasn't really something that you could take with you. So we don't, I don't have a desk at all. 
I do, however, have a very long, I think this is a 10 foot long table with the pull down legs. And that right now is having the, the crappy laptop on it, as well as two printers for my wife's business and a secondary monitor that I use whenever I need to you know, use two monitors. Although the graphics card on this laptop, it barely handles it. Anyway. Oh, yay! I found diamonds! One! Two! This means I'll be able to start using equivalent exchange soon. Yes! I wins, I wins, I wins. Let's go ahead and get this out of my inventory. These diamonds and the dust that I'll be able to create later. Let's see here. Actually, I guess I don't really need... Oh, I think I... Okay, I kept the generator. I need to turn this into a... Um, there's enough lava down here. I need to turn this into a geothermal. Just pump all the stuff out of here. Just collect what I can. And eventually I will be a very, very rich man with many diamonds. Ah. Oh. Let's see, collect all that. Place that so I don't fall. And there we go. We're pretty well set. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. I will want to set up to have an energy condenser sooner rather than later. Let's see. Let's just explore this area real quick. I know I've been here before. Um, yeah, not a whole lot here. We have this iron. Smelt it. Now that I actually have a macerator, I can... Whoop. Hmm. What's in there? Drop the torches. I don't, I don't see anything. I'm gonna just go ahead and collect the rest of this here. I need to get more macerators so I can do this stuff faster. Ah, that looks like tin. Okay, let's go ahead and get up here and get this. And we will have plenty of materials to start building more and more cool stuff. We're finally starting to get out of regular old Minecraft and into Technic. Let's see, where does that go? Oops, I finally ran out of shovel. I guess I really should have stopped that water, but I just want to drown whatever's down there. Alright, I'll click the rest of that later. No big rush. Oh, well, you know what? Well, no, I'm going to leave the sounds where they are for right now, because I don't think they're too l low. If you guys think they're too low, just give me a, a holler, give me a comment, let me know that I need to turn the sounds back up for the surrounding area. As it is, I've got the background music set much lower than uh, my voice level, so I would be able to be heard. Let's see what's going on. I hear something. Uh-oh. Something's going on, and it doesn't sound good. Oh! Heck, go away, go away, shoo, shoo. Oh, and there's a creeper in my house. That's not good. No, no, no. Oh, craptastic. <sighs> Great. I need to fix this whole creeper situation and make it so they can't be spawning near my house and get or get in. But that will have to wait for a later episode. For now, I hope you all have a good evening. And let's see what happens tomorrow. Bye-bye.